When DJI launched the latest version of their flight app 1.6.6, they brought back one incredibly popular feature, the ability to have some sort of visual cue or notification that the auto exposure has been locked. This is something that is incredibly useful, especially for video, to avoid any exposure shifting during a changing of lighting conditions. Now, if you have the new DJI Mini 3 Pro or Mini 2 or the Air 2S, for example, or basically any uh, drone which uses the RCM1 controller, this feature was incredibly simple to do. All you needed to do was simply assign within the DJI Fly app to the function button, and then you could either tap or double tap, whichever was your preference, and you can see on screen that auto exposure was now locked. But there are many people out there that don't have either of those drones, and those that are still using the DJI Mavic Mini, or indeed the DJI Mini SE. Now, if you have either of those drones using the controller, you can see right now i'm going to show in this video exactly how you lock exposure because it's a really weird process but one that does actually work but before i get exactly into it a quick word from the video sponsor skillshare Skillshare is an online learning platform ideal for anybody wanting to learn a new skill in 2022. A brief scroll through the website and you can see there is an absolute abundance of different classes, anything from animation to creative writing, film and video, music to photography, there is certainly going to be something that piques your interest. By using Skillshare and watching this video by James Wu, video editing with Filmora, beginners to advanced that has allowed me to hone my skills to be able to bring you some better content from my videos so I found this really really helpful the first thousand people to sign up using the link in the video description or my code which you can see on screen will get one month free trial of Skillshare but with that all being said let's get back to the main part of the video right so to demonstrate this properly what I've done is I've put the DJI Mavic Mini up in the air I'm going to show exactly what you do now, of course, with this controller, you have got no function button whatsoever. So we need to do it a slightly different way. And the way you generally do it is you do it by tapping on the screen. But for some bizarre reason, this doesn't actually work in video mode. So what we need to do is if we go across to photo, tap on the screen to set the exposure wherever you like, you can see you can then expose it what you want. And that's absolutely great for photographs. But generally, once you've framed your shot, the exposure isn't really going to change all that much. It's video you really want this but anyway let me show you photo anyway so once you've tapped on the screen exactly where you want all you need to do is press and hold within the circle that you've just pressed as you can see we get that notification to say the exposure has been locked now that is absolutely great like I say for those wanting to take photos but really that's not really where you want the auto exposure to work so let me show you exactly what you need to do to get it to work for video and it's a really really strange process so if we click into the video tab if you click on screen as you can can see or tap on the screen there is absolutely nothing happening it doesn't set the exposure whatsoever or change the exposure and I've no idea why that this works for photos but it doesn't work for video so I'm going to show you exactly what to do so what we need to do is click back into the photo option and then what I need to do is select the exposure once we've locked that in quickly pop to video and now you will see we now have these uh, little corners here of this little rectangle now if we select with in that and press and hold now that locks exposure for video but for some bizarre reason once it's done you cannot do anything about it you cannot change it you cannot unlock it the only way to actually do it is to flick back into the photo mode and do it all over it again now I'm not entirely sure exactly why this is the case but sadly it is and it's what we have to deal with at the moment but of course I wanted to show and share this with you so you know exactly what to do so just to run through that again what we do is pop it into photo mode, set the exposure, press and hold the screen, lock that in, and very quickly, once that's locked in, flick over to the video tab, and you can see, before that disappears, press and hold that, and of course you can see that has now fixed the exposure, and I can demonstrate that not changing by, of course, raising and lowering the gimbal. Now, don't get me wrong, as you can see, there is a slight uh, exposure shift when you do change from photo to video. It doesn't actually lock it in or stay locked when you switch between the two, but what it does 
does is it brings up that little rectangular box, uh, allowing you to actually select uh, or lock in the exposure on video. And whilst this might not be a perfect solution, it does of course mean that it will lock in and not change during your flight. The other way of course is just to use the pro mode on this drone. Using pro settings of course exposure isn't going to change because you've manually set everything but of course this video is for those of you that are going to leave it in auto or more amateur and just want to fly and do some point and shoot video recording and this is exactly how you do it. So hopefully you found that little tutorial useful and of course I do like to still bring videos on drones such as the Mavic Mini and of course the Mini SE because they're still absolutely perfectly good pieces of kit and still capable of some absolutely epic and fantastic footage. If you did find this video useful of course give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're awesome and until next time see you again soon.